said, oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to check if the authenticity, and it was Napoleon, the medal, even Sotheby's and, and Christie said, we cannot deny that it is. We have provinces, provinces, we have um, so what authentication, and so I'm selling it right now. It's worth over $200 million. So anybody who has that kind of money or knows a prince in Saudi, send them. But it's so, real. It's real. It's, there's only one in the world. There was well, other things Sotheby's of Napoleon. Sotheby's says it's real. It's real. Yeah. I mean, but that's they don't want to go to auction. Auction takes too much money anyway. Auction is like one of those things. We want to do it to a private owner. So if anybody's interested. So in other know. words. And there's articles written on the internet. And you can DM me or go to my website. And it's napoleontalesman.com if you want to see the video on it and read all the information and see the, um, you know, all the documentation on it. So in other words, now if someone buys it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they contact you and they say, I heard you on Behind the Velvet Rope. Yes, I will give and David And here's your $199 million. I will give Dave a commission on that. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'll give I David. mean, I don't know. But it's like, but you know, it's like some, like everybody's like, can you get to Jeff Bezos? Can you get to Bill Gates? And I'm like, they may not want to collect this. Like, it's overseas. Like something baby. really weird. The, Russians are, the Russians are obsessed with Russia. Napoleon. I don't know why, but they are. That's so I a good said, Sergey Brin might be good. Like, you know, and and everybody knows that I'm connected to billionaires and millionaires. So I just got it. They just did an article about it, and it should be it should be like out there. I mean, a museum should pick it up and pay. Are us, you going to be the same person when you have two hundred million dollars? Well, in I'm not your having two hundred million. There's an owner involved. So, okay, well. but um, but I would make quite a bit of money. Yes. Okay. Would I be the same person? Am I the same? You know, every person who knows me pre-being famous has said, I have never changed. There's a friend that knows me and Marisol and said, Marisol changed and I didn't, which I don't know what Marisol was like before because I love her now. So, and he said, I, she changed and I didn't. There are some crazy. rumors that have, you know, there's people that say Marisol has changed. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not it. a diva. Like I am, I was a crew girl on my set. Like I ate with my crew. I bought them gifts. I helped them, you know, with their family problems and stuff like that. Like I'm not the one that's like, I'm in my dressing room. Do not touch me. Do not talk to me. I'm the actual, what's going on? What's the problem? I'm an executive producer. So I had to like get in there and get dirty. And my crew was loyal and stayed with me till the end. You yelled at innocent, wonderful people like me, but that's okay. Tough love, Patty. I understand. Okay. Like I didn't get a note from my showrunner to, to, sh to shoot you. It's like I didn't get a note. Do you know what's really funny is, and then we could wrap up, is like after we did that fat suit, mm -hmm. uh, your producers came over to me and they were like, do to do. And they're like, you know, thank you. Like we never thought you would do that. And I was like, what? I but, mean, but, I was also. I mean, like you played I was ball like, because we were like we look. No, New York was one. The highest rated episode in history was the one I really produced from Soup to Nuts. That was Kenya Moore. It was a hundredth episode. Her and Taylor Dane, and they were both my friends. Okay, but the highest rated season total. Total, okay. Was New York. Was New York. And I That's think- That's because we and, were all messes. I think, well, I shot 12 episodes in seven weeks, which, you know, they after I came back, I looked like shit and they were like, you're never doing that again. And second of all, it was my city. You know, I'm from that area, New York. Yeah, I'm it was from a both great York. idea my to bring it there. there. The third thing I think was the reason why we had a lot of women on that season. And the women were crazy as crack. I mean, we had Plumpty Dumpty who you walked. You had Plumpty you know, Dumpty. Like she was insane. I knew Plumpty Dumpty. Right, Robin, Kastner. So there was a lot of crazy on that season. And we really showcased women because I don't think we did that many women prior to season four. That so it was, was season the... four. Also, um... Fame we had, whore, we had to move really dumpty, fast. My showrunner, Catherine Vaughn, was a really fast moving producer. She wasn't into beauty. She wanted the grit. We didn't have lights in the camera. Like when Spike Van Briesen came along, my real, my showrunner in the end, he was a Hill show. He was one of the Hills producers. Ooh. He made my show beautiful. He's at Fox now. So it was a little like slow it down, do it two or three times. We had grit with Catherine Vaughn. And I oh, think yeah. the grit is what's missing in reality TV. We're so consumed with what we look like all across the board we are not showing the dirty you know like we gotta go back I to the early I days I think like 98 Fiance is the only one that really shows the dirty because they don't give a shit what they look like on TLC I you heard know Milf I mean? Manor is shot very low budget I heard I heard you know I know Storm, you know I know Stormy Daniels I have a picture of us together really? she wanted to come on the show she came out to me and the sh and they said no they said we have. Should, I have tried to get Stormy Daniels on this very. She podcast. loves me. I lo I'm okay, obsessed with her. Get her number, and I will call her, her for you. Okay. But um, I thought Milf Manor was funny. Actually, I haven't watched watch? it. I have. I, I just saw it. clips, but I thought it was really funny because they the said idea. it's really funny. And like, there's hot young guys. Hey, have you watched the new WeHo show? 
It's so f- yes, I have. How many episodes have dropped? And guess what? What brands? They're on? an advertiser of Behind the Velvet Rope podcast. So wait, how many episodes have dropped? Um, three. I mean, at this MTV point. really knows what they're doing, so they must have like. Was it like the Real World meets Housewives? You know what I love? They break the fourth wall. Do they all live together? No. Oh, so they so they go separately. Oh, I. Thought- it's like, but they break the fourth. Listen, there's not. I've said this before. What do they do and break the fourth wall? What well, do they like, do? They like Brad will say like I'm famous. It's hard, you know. Trying like they basically acknowledge. Oh my the god, fact. he is Gary. Like he's like one of the top writers in Hollywood. Is, is are they married or is it are they? Um, I think they're married. They're married now. officially. So her his husband. And by the way, Brad's looking amazing with that six pack. He looks amazing. I, he is he on good. the juice? We call it the juice, by the way, people. I uh, We're like, is he on the juice? On the juice? Kyle now Richards see, is on the juice. Like, how many I men mean, are on the juice? They, no one's talking about no, them. They there's like, a lot. But are there Hollywood A-listers on the juice that are men? Because I was like, how? Yeah. Well, like, Jeff, I, Jeff. I mean, I he's not saying George he's an A-lister. I saw George Clooney in that Julia Roberts movie, and I was like, he took his shirt off, and I was like, is that boy on the juice? Do you know who I want to go on record of is on mm-hmm. the juice that mm-hmm. no one's talking about? Erica Jane. Slowly, if you watch, wow. she's getting just you mark my words. I guarantee you in how, a month. Okay, and a so half, I have a question. How fast will you see me have a difference? I told a, you, I saw it right t- away. You think it's not working? I feel like I it's see. not working. I think your clothes feel looser a little bit, but I have to tell you, I'm not hungry though. I think it's I'm not because hungry at I know. all. Well, that's why I, pe- I think, I mean, I think people are confused out there. They think Excuse you me. do this and then you eat pizza and like life is great I don't, I don't eat, and you cheat. Okay, so you don't I, eat it all. I it's eat it's super kind healthy, of miserable. But I'm paleo, not, you know, gluten-free, no dairy, no sugar. I eat super fucking healthy. So I was like, I wonder if I'll shred faster because I eat healthy. Because like, you know, I go around with Jill and people like that. They'll eat the pasta and I won't. I mean, look, I couldn't control myself, and this has changed my life. So, but you I were feel a like pizza myself. eater a lot. You would call me and There's tell me nothing I, better. Right? You told me you'd eat pizza. East Coast baby. Wow. I mean, and now I'm telling you, the only night that well, I mean, I have a slice here. One night when mm-hmm. I was out with mm-hmm. Darcy, mentioned I was out in Darcy. Oh, you and went Flor- out with her. Yeah, and yeah. Florian. They wanted pizza. We went to Joe's. We got a large pizza. We went back to. Is like, she is she having a relationship now? Yeah, married. She got to this married. Guy, Florian, yeah. So, to, and she has. No, a, no, not Darcy. Stacy. Sorry. Stacy. Sorry. Oh my God, a, I'm losing my mind. Does Stacy have a series now? Shh, they Darcy and Stacy came back. It's like on okay. Right so now. now they're talking about their marriages now. Yeah. Well, so Darcy's not married. Stacy. Darcy was, was one of my show. But yeah. they want to be. So they're twins, right? Slices. They're twins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Darcy was supposed to come out this night and she didn't. I was like, "Where's mm-hmm. Darcy?" They, they live in Connecticut right now, but I think they're back in Miami now. But they, we went out in New York, and then they wanted pizza, and we got it. And I had three slices. Uh, mind you, I could eat nine slices I before, think they, you know, and I got so sick. So I have a um, a friend. She's very famous, Patty Negri. She's on Discovery Channel. She's on, like, uh, you know, Ghost Hunters. Oh. And she's like Is that my, the one who works with Jack She's Osborne? the witch that um, – and she cleansed date Jill, Jeff's houses. You know how Jeff always cleans yeah. the house before he buys it? So she became one of my best friends, and she's actually my teacher in witchcraft. You know, I do, like, Wicca. And so we said – we. Want want to do 